Hey guys, Chrono16 here with some new information about C2012S1 iSun. Before I get into this new information, real quick, I just want to make a comment about something that's been going on here on YouTube. Many uh, of uh, people here on YouTube report about Comet Ison, but here lately there's been a lot of bickering and, and arguing going back and forth between people about who had information or who said this first or who said that first instead of us bickering like children and I, I don't get into that but I'm mentioning it here because it's ridiculous we have a chance here guys to provide real information about Comet Ison and other celestial events in our heavenly skies and and instead most of us are arguing about who had the information first uh, in some cases some people are making up information let's just report on the facts now I'm an amateur astronomer and there are some out there that are amateur astronomers let's put our data together let's put our information together and come up with some real facts here let's get some real information out to the people that's why a lot of people come on here and watch us is to get real information that they're not getting from our United States government which is a complete laughable joke now and we're not ever gonna get any information from them so guys let's stop bickering like children and get some real information out there now on, on screen here is Stellarium and it, it's uh, set back to June 3rd of this year 2013 that was the last time that I got to take a look at uh, the comet with the Montre Observatory here in western Arkansas it was a very weak magnitude 14 when I last looked at it now Tony Scramardo over in Calabara, Italy has a bigger observatory to look at uh, stuff with and he last observed Comet Ison on June 16th of this year and it was a very weak magnitude 15 what does that mean it means that the last time anybody viewed Ison it was getting dimmer now that doesn't look very good for the comet of the century hopefully when we look at uh, Ison again is supposed to be it's it's ice is supposed to be visible at the end of July on into August again here uh, because right now if you look at it right now it's just too close to the Sun to be viewed from Earth too close to the Sun to be viewed from Earth now there's an event that's going to take place I have the information right here and there's a link under this video let me see here. Okay, we'll we'll take it up to about April. As you can see, or excuse me, as you can see, ice will become visible early in the morning between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Uh, starting at the end of July, but the better viewing times will be uh, as you get farther into August. It'll be uh, you'll be able to view ice in the mornings, and we'll be able to to know something then. But a new special Hubble Hangout is going to be taking place at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on July 17th. July 17th. It says here that Hubble is poised to provide us with new images of Comet Ison as it approaches the inner solar system. In the coming months we will get views of the comet from a perspective only Hubble can provide us. So uh, this hangout is going to take place on September uh, excuse me July 17th July 17th all that information is below under this video and the link to the hangout is under this video as well uh, they said that the Hubble is poised to uh, provide us with images it, it doesn't say in this information if they're going to be taking any images I don't think they will be because again right now Hubble uh, excuse me Ison is too close to the Sun for anybody to look at even Hubble but uh, if you want the latest information on what Hubble is going to be doing uh, on this comet, make sure you attend this hangout on July 17th, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, all that information is under this video. And I will be viewing ISIN again in August when it becomes viewable again from the Montre Observatory. They're going to be viewing it over in. Uh, Italy and New Zealand I'm, I'm in contact uh, with some amateur astronomers in different parts of the world and we're gonna get together guys and we'll have some real information put out there about ISIN right now as as I said earlier in this video last reports 
Eisen was getting dimmer. It doesn't look good. Hopefully that trend will change. But right now, it just doesn't look like it's going to be the comet of the century. Just wanted to get that information out there to you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.